Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video I'll teach you how I made this history presentation that looks like a video game using PowerPoint. And I'll leave the colors and the fonts that I use for this presentation here in case you want to use the exact same ones. And on a blank slide, I'm gonna right click format background and change the color of the background for this one right here. And then I'll go to insert, click on shapes, and then click on the line option here. And holding shift, you're gonna drag from left to right so you get a perfectly horizontal guide. And if you want to align it, just click on align, align to center. Now I'm gonna increase the width of the line and I'm gonna select gradient line. Now drag these handles here down. I'll move this one closer to the other one and I'll add a new one here. And I'm gonna pick the same color of the background for both ends here. And let's change the direction of the gradient. Let's pick this one here. And for the middle color, I'm gonna pick the golden color. So now we have this line with a gradient. With the line selected, hold Ctrl on your keyboard and drag down to duplicate. And let's just make it a little bit shorter. And I'll put it right here. Again, duplicate, holding Ctrl on your keyboard and dragging down. And now let's start inserting our texts. So click on Insert, Text Box. And here I'm gonna add the title of my presentation, which in this case will be the Renaissance. For this one, I'm gonna change the color to white and I'm gonna change the font to Trajan Pro. And I'll put it right here and increase the size and I'll align it to center with a line aligned to center. Now let's add a little bit of glow to this text. So right click on the text, click on format shape, then on text options here, let's go to the effects panel, click on glow and select any preset from here and I'll just change the color to white. And now let's duplicate our text holding control on your keyboard and just drag it here and that will create a copy of the text so now we can change it and it will keep the same glow that we had. So this one will be our inventory and I'll just move it up a little bit so we have some space and for this one, I'm gonna change the color to that golden color. And I'm gonna change the glow color to that same gold. Again, holding control on your keyboard, drag it down to duplicate the text. And this one will be for the abilities of our character, which in this case will be Leonardo da Vinci. And I'll select everything and move it a little bit to the left. And I'll just move this one up so we have a little bit more space. Now let's insert a square holding shift on your keyboard so you get a perfect square. And let's select a gradient field here. Let's change it to radial. And let's select this direction right here. Now I'll get rid of this handle right here and I'll move it to the right and I'll move the other one closer. For the one on the right, I'm gonna pick the darkest color and for the one on the left, I'm gonna pick a light blue. And for that one, I'm gonna increase the transparency a little bit. Now I'll add a solid line here. I'm gonna change the color of the stroke and then holding control on your keyboard, you're gonna drag it down to duplicate. Now holding shift, select both shapes and then holding control, duplicate it two times to the right. So we get six exact same shapes. And then I'll just move them a little bit to the right so they are properly aligned. Now I'll just start adding my texts and some details to make it look more realistic. And for this one, I'm using the font Arial and I'll apply the exact same effect that we had for the other text, which is the glow effect. And once you have one, it will be very easy to duplicate. So you can replace it with 
um, the other words so for this one I'm gonna focus on the abilities and I'm gonna pick three different words to describe this person which in this case will be inventor, art and astronomy now I'm gonna center the text and I'm gonna go to align and distribute horizontally so they are evenly spaced now I'm gonna select the rectangle shape and I'm just gonna put a rectangle right here I'm gonna select no line and I'm gonna change the color to black and here I just used text boxes to add my content and for this one I just added the name, the dates and a short description and now it's time to add some icons so let's go to insert icons and here you can look for any word and you'll get icons so just select the one that you want click on insert and change the color and I'll just put this one right here and I'll repeat the process of the icons for the abilities section and while I'm doing that this is a good opportunity to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying this PowerPoint tutorial and if you want to get more every week and I just looked for a Leonardo da Vinci PNG on Google Images so you just have to right click copy image and then go back to PowerPoint and Ctrl V to paste it and I'll just make it smaller and put it right here now I'll add a little bit of glow so I'll insert a circle I'm gonna get rid of the line I'm gonna change the color and then go to the shape effect options here let's go to the soft edges section and let's increase the size here and I'll just make it a little bit larger then right click and send to back and that's how we get that glowing effect behind him now to give it a little bit more depth I'm gonna add a background image so here I'll just copy this image here right click copy image and then paste it with ctrl V and now I'll click on crop drag the handles all the way to the edges of the slide and then click on the drop down menu and click on fill so it takes the whole area of the slide and then I'm gonna change the color so click on recolor here and click on this preset right here and then I'm gonna increase the transparency so we get like that watermark effect and then you just have to right click and send to back now to give it more volume I'm gonna change the background to a gradient so here I'm just gonna have two colors I'm gonna change the gradient to linear and for the one on the right I'm gonna pick a dark blue and for the one on the left I'm gonna pick black then I'll just move them closer to each other a little bit and that's how we give more volume to this slide now for the inventory I just added more PNGs but if you have a fake PNG like this one that I'm pasting here that you get the checkerboard uh, pattern you just have to click on crop and crop it to your image and that's how we get rid of that annoying checkerboard pattern from a fake PNG now I'm just gonna make it smaller and put it right here and on the shape effects I'm just gonna add a shadow here so just select an outer shadow and increase the distance and I just repeated the process with the rest of my items now let's create a new blank slide so right click new slide and now I'll go back to my first slide click on slideshow mode and I'm gonna take a screen capture of this slide so I just press the print screen button on my keyboard and now let's go back to PowerPoint and change the color of the background to black on that second slide and then paste the screen capture that you took and then I'm gonna apply an artistic effect so I'll select this one right here that blurs the image and I'm gonna increase the transparency now click on insert then on shapes 
and I'm going to select this shape right here. To make sure that it's perfectly aligned, just click on Align to Center and Align to Middle. And here I'm going to add a gradient field. I'm going to change the type to Radial. Let's select this option right here, the Central Radial Gradient. And I'm just looking to have a gradient that it's light in the middle. And I'll just change the color of the outline as well. I'll add a little bit of transparency to this gradient so we can see the background image. Now let's go back to our first slide and copy an item from the inventory. So in this case I just picked the Mona Lisa and I'm just going to put it right here. And then you can just copy the text from the previous slide and paste them into the new one and just replace the information. So you can have the title and just a short description, something very simple and super easy. I'll add a few extra shapes so it looks more realistic. So I'll just pick a shape like this one and I'm just going to add it here at the top. I'll zoom in so you can see clearly what I'm doing. Um, and I'm just going to get rid of the outline and change the color and add a little bit of transparency. And then I'll duplicate it and move it here at the bottom. And now I'll insert some triangles to create the navigation arrows. So I'll just put this one here on the left and I'll duplicate it and flip it to the other side so we get the right arrow as well. And now I'll click on no outline and I'll just change the color to the golden color. Now once you have one it's very easy to create the rest of them because you just have to duplicate that slide and continue replacing your image and your text and that's pretty much it. And now for the animation we just have to select everything that we did except for the arrows. So just select everything, right click and group it. And I'll repeat the same thing for my other slides. Right click and group. And for the last one, select everything, right click and group. Then I'm gonna copy this group and paste it into the previous slide and move it to the right to the gray area. Then click on the previous slide and select this group right here. Copy it and paste it into the next slide. And in this case, we're going to move it to the left. Again, outside of the slide. Now copy this group right here and paste it into the previous slide. And you're going to move it to the right to the gray area. And lastly, we're going to go to the final slide and paste it there as well. But in this case, we're going to drag it to the left. Now, for these two slides, we're going to go to Transitions and click on Morph. And for the second slide, we're going to go to Transitions, click on the arrow here and select Zoom. And that's it guys, you've made it to the end of this video and that's how you can create this awesome presentation using PowerPoint. Let me know in the comments if you liked this tutorial and also don't forget that I have all of my free templates available on my website lurutiappt.com and I'm also running a giveaway for my premium templates on Instagram so make sure to check that out. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.